Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali. You're watching this video. Today we will make this cool select effect when your item is selected, and we can change lots of things like this, like a loading bar. Then we can increase it like this much, and you can change the color as you can see, and you can change size, radius, lots of things I have added here. So we will make this step by step from the starting. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So I'll right click and make a material M item item select UI okay so basically I'll just make this a flat planner and unlit and maybe two side first thing we need I'm just making this effect for the round shape item so let's say you have this radius and you connect this here and then you can make it sharp maybe like 50 so it would be sharp like this you can decrease the size like uh, uh, radius maybe 0.3 cool and let's multiply it with a lower value so maybe 0.2 because uh, this is our shape our item and we want to make some effect around it that is uh, indicate that it is selected or it's power up anything so what I'll do, I'll take one more radial, uh, almost same radius, and this is sharp because it has this density, and this is not, this is not sharp, but I will invert it, so it will be uh, black from the inside and white outside. Then I will multiply these together, so it will cut it like this. So there will be a, a black here and this. With the power, you can make this just the edge, like uh, if I take power here and maybe 5 or 10 depending on my value it the thickness will reduce now what I'll do I'll take the vector to radial and in the vector to radial I'll use this vector converted angle if I iso if I uh, preview that this is how it looks and if you like animate it you can add time on it if I like add time But we have to take a frax after that and if I preview now it will be animated because if I will not take the frax the value of this will be increased and it will be white because of the time. Now if you want to you can just uh, like multiply it by 2. So there will be 2. Okay. So now if you multiply it with this edge what you will have. You will have this kind of thing. Looks cool, right? Then you can take one more power here. And looks cool. But the rotation is wrong. So I will invert my time. 1 minus. Because it should rotate like this. And it looks already cool. Then we can multiply it with a color. Like I take a color. Let's make a parameter. Color. And by default, I'll just make it red. And then I will add it here. That's why I multiplied from 0.2 because it was white. So now it's not white and I'm adding this thing over it. So now we can see how it looks. Cool. We can reduce this all even more. So now our select part is visible. And it looks cool. You can do a lot of things with this. So let's say you want to, uh, because this is the, this is the uh, thickness of this. So if you connect a weight here, here, see what happens. Okay. So you can take a LERP and you can connect this here. And this is by default what is it's two if i put two two and two both it is same if i make this five see difference and if i make it like zero or maybe point two so we can just play with this okay but i think that's enough so now uh let's also make the these are parameter this is thickness 
and let's save it for now and right click make an instance and thickness should be like by default 2 I'll make this maybe little oranges or bright then we can reduce this now it looks even better you can do a lot of thing here you can also add ads if you want and you can also so let's say this is thickness and it has this color and what you can do you can use like this is thickness one okay i'll take one more power and this is thickness two cool and i'll multiply it with a different color so let's copy and paste this color too and just add these together so we will have like a two short of two trails overlapping each other and we have a control of thickness so now this thickness too is like five or two so now you can see little radish radishness there or you can make it also like this and this one little more red like this and maybe this one little more darker yeah so it looks much better right now you can use a actual uh, a item I have actually let me import from desktop maybe this yeah this looks nice so we can use this so i'll just drag it into my material and we don't need this now here so we need this and to match the size and everything uh, i'll make this a parameter this is radius that is 0.3 so let's save it so now it's there and if you want to offset it you can offset it like here or here where, wherever you want and also one more thing i'll do i'll multiply it shape shade uh, so we can make it a little darker so it will be visible properly and i'll also take this add option just for the uh, exposure will work properly so now we can make it a little darker or this much and now we can make it even brighter maybe 100 and these are the thickness we can play with these cool and then we can also play here we can add something more like inside or outside what you want but i think this still looks cool yeah i think this looks cool i think shade we can make this much so i'll do one more thing take a radial one more time add time and per preview and take a sign it will repeat that like a ripple and then i will multiply it again with the radial just to mask it you know like this and to increase or decrease the thickness of these you can decrease or increase the sign but you can also multiply it here so we can call it rings thickness and then i'll make a no set and i'll multiply it with another color convert to parameter color ring okay let's say it's green by this one then i can add this on this let's make a parameter actually here radius ring so this is actually rings radius 0.5 by default 
let's save it and see how it looks so first thing uh, thickness should be like by default at least one and this is the ring radius that we can increase or decrease maybe this much and then this is the thickness we can increase or decrease like this and then we have this color so i think color i will make blue but if you make this one not that much maybe this much I think yeah. so now you got the idea cool so I hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye